Right, me and Andy here on our way up um, Great Dodd. We've left leg buff weight this morning. Well, we, we were cycle from because it's leg buff weight, and then we're coming up towards Sticks Pass. Um, it's a little bit snowy underfoot. Hard work. Fantastic. <laughs> but we've got a lovely well. It's looking like the days are getting better and better. It's a bit in cloud at the moment, but we're hoping it's gonna gonna clear by the time we get up there. I'm on the fatty today, and Andy's on his new. Cannondale habit. Cannondale habit, so one. he's going to give that a shot today, sliding around in the snow. Yeah, we'll see. Um, past here, Andy. Quite a few skiers about. The path's obviously not well treading up, treading up um, Sty Barrow Dodd. Uh, we're going up Great Dodd today, as I've already said. Lovely views. We've been walking in cloud for quite a bit, it's been quite cold, but we've just topped out here and the sun's come out, so that's absolutely brilliant. It's been hard going though, pushing up against deep snow. <laughs> God knows what the descent will be like, but it's uh, another logbook ride for my uh, um, British Cycling Leadership Level 3. So, although this is out of reach because it's winter conditions, but it'll still be due for a logbook ride. This is us just, uh, just going for a sty barrow dod. The first bit was actually, actually pet on today. I don't know, a dropper cable snapped. A dropper cable snapped. Has it snapped or it frozen? Well, it could have, it could have done, I suppose. We'll have a look when we get to the top of the grade done. I can't imagine there's much more riding. Well, that was good fun. Yeah. That was all over the place. You were quite steady. Do you reckon? <laughs> I was honest, as I got out the road, roots, I was fine, but when I was hitting those roots, I was just getting flown all over the shop. We just, um, well, we've missed Watson's Dodd out. We've just uh, taken the bypass path up towards Great Dodd, but we've got this lovely view down into the valley here with the mist. Great Dodd's in mist at the moment, unfortunately, but hopefully it might clear by the time we get up there. This is us near the summit of. Uh, Great dog here, me and Andy. We've cycled all the way up here. I can't use that joke anymore, can I use it too much? We've pushed all the way up here. Had a tiny bit of cycling off Sty Barrow Dodd, where we descended in some snow. We're going to go over there to the summit of Great Dodd, and then we're going to drop down to the coach road. So we'll see how we get on with that. And look, it's been in mist, and it's just come out to. We've just come out the mist, that's fantastic. Get some nice views. Outstanding. This is the summer stuff. Great done.
Well, that was fun. I don't think Andy's enjoying it quite so much. I've got a distinct advantage over him today on the fat bike, though, with those big tyres. If you keep out the woods, though, onto the side, it's not actually too bad. Here he comes now. We'll get a bit of a foot, a bit of footage of him coming down. Last week we went and did the back of Skidor ride, and um, it was like 50, 60 mile out an hour winds. <laughs> even on the downhill bits, uh, we were we were pedaling just to just to just to keep forward momentum. And um, so I don't know if Andy's going to be very keen on going out for a ride with me again after <laughs> these last two Saturdays. Did you? Oh no, Andy! I think I've got a bit of an unfair advantage today, haven't I? To the camera there, Andy. You're probably never going to go out with me again after today and last week. <laughs> Getting blown around in the shit last week. <laughs> and then this week. Well, I'm, I'm glad you're in front of me because the camera was pointing that way. <laughs> well, I'm, not, I'm disappointed, Andy, because I'm much sure I've had the other more spectaculars. Front wheel just dug in there. See, I made a nice furrow for you as well, yeah. Look after you, mate. <laughs> Even about the way to a person on it. I bet it was. <laughs> Fucking punk. <laughs> Think of the experience, though, Andy. Yeah, it's good for you, isn't it? Balance, skill, learning <laughs> to ride in difficult conditions. Yeah, whoosh! <laughs> there, for a bit of fun for you, Andy. <laughs> oh. Come on, get up. That's it. Right, I've just disconnected my dropper. I'll put it back on again when we start descending. We've got a big climb yet now, so I don't really need it. Fantastic! We're back on the coach road now, so we're just um, gonna bimble along here along to the end and then back home to Keswick. I'll probably stop for a bite at Muriel Bridge. Oh, it's amazing to be able to pedal your bike. What would you say, Andy? Is it amazing to be able to pedal? We just took a little cheeky shortcut down the um off the um, descent bridle way to reach the coach road just because it was such heavy going in the snow and we weren't really getting any pedalling in so the wrong type of snow today the top section was good though, I enjoyed the top section of the coach road was good I mean the, the, the descent off but great dog It's shortbread time. My favourite time of the day. This is not too bad, is it? I think this will be fine. It's a little bit slippy on that climb there, wasn't it? And the roots, the rocks were a bit verglassed. Oh, that's brilliant, thank you. Wow. I feel a bit guilty now. Well, especially for you. But I'm not going to let you ask me twice, in case you decide not to. <laughs> wow. And if you want to send it down here, just go for it, mate, because I'll be bobbing along for all these lumps and rocks on this thing.
That was fun. Good, I'm pleased you enjoyed it. I think I bottomed out the front forks. Oh well, I thought you might enjoy that little bit. I thought I'd put it right on your face before you go and say to die. Rich took me on this miserable fucking ride. <laughs> I pushed the bike all the way over the fucking Hellvalen range. I don't have a <laughs> Didn't get to ride it at all. He was on this fucking jammy fat bike where he was bouncing along with a big smile on his face. If you do this again, Andy, you always have to be careful on this little, last little bit that you don't become a, a bumper ornament for a 4x4 because they sometimes come flying up here. Yeah. Well, I do in my pickup anyway. Well, I've got a bit of a reputation now for them. I'm always whinging about them. Post killer. I hate this corner. Uh, we'll just go back on the road. Along past storms, just along this road. Four and a half miles. <laughs>